Grade 8 Math number 3.2a, Rates of Change. A rate of change is the ratio of the amount of change in the dependent variable, or output, to the amount of change in the independent variable, or input. A function is an input-output relationship that is exactly one output for each input. Whew, what does that mean? Well, if you remember from sixth grade, some functions can be represented by an equation with two variables, like y equals x plus 5. For each input value substituted for x, there's exactly one output value for y. So here's our input-output. Our function is going to be the equation y equals x plus 5. If our input, which is x, is a 2, and we put that here, our output is going to be a 7. See? y will be 7. If our input is 3 in our function, our output will be 8. If our input is 4, our output will be 9. See? Now does that make sense? This function, y equals x plus 5, is an input-output relationship that ex has exactly one output for each input? Now that makes sense. If I put the number 2 in here, our output's going to be 7. All right, so let's take a look at this. Emma keeps a record of dogs she walks and the money she's earned. Decide whether the rates of change are constant or variable. So we've got the number of dogs walked, that's going to be our x value, and the amount she's earned, that's going to be the y value. And we've got in the table the days that she's done this. So the first thing we do is find the input value and the output value. The input value, that's going to be x, is going to be the number of dogs walked. She walked three dogs day one. The output value is the amount she earned. She earned $15. We find the rates of change from day one to day two, the change in dollars over the change in dogs. Day two is $30. So we've got 30 minus day one, $15 and the change in dogs is six dogs to three dogs and six minus three is three so we've got 15 over three which simplifies to five that's the rate of change five now day two to day three from this day to this day we've got 45 minus 30 over nine minus six well 45 over 30 is 15, 45 minus 30 is 15, and 9 minus 6 is 3. It's the same as the previous one. The rate of change is 5. Now we look at day 3 to day 4. Well, day 4 has got 60, and day 3 has got 45. So we've got 60 minus 45 over 12 minus 9. Well, 60 minus 45 is 15, and 12 minus 9 is 3. It's 5 again. 5, 5, 5. The rates of change are all 5. So the rates of change are constant. It's $5 per dog walked. It's not variable. It didn't vary, did it? Now, if we look at constant rates versus variable rates, constant rates would be like the hourly pay working in a grocery store. Variable rate would be the pay you would get working on commission because you don't know what customers are coming in or if you're even going to make money that day, do you? A constant rate would be your monthly Netflix fee. The variable rate would be the number of movies you watched on Netflix. You're not going to watch exactly the same number of things on Netflix every single month. It's going to vary. A constant rate would be the price for a car wash. But the variable rate would be the number of cars that go through that car wash. And a constant rate would be the price of a ticket to a movie. And a variable rate would be the number of people that are in the movie theater. That's not always going to be the same, is it? Now for the equation, our y equals kx, like we discussed in the last video, the y over the x is 15 over 3. See? Here's our y value, here's our x value, it's 15 over 3. So we simplify it to 5 over 1, and that means our k is worth 5 over 1. y equals 5 over 1 x. That would be our equation, okay? All right, so now we're going to move on, and we're going to talk about using graphs to find the rate of change. And we're getting closer to slope and m here, so stick with me. 
Don't forget that I'm on Twitter and you can request any of my whiteboards as a study guide to save in a file or to print. And don't forget I'm on Patreon.com and I could use your monthly support for my ad-free videos. And I'll see you next video. Bye.